Hi everyone, this is Bart Valchak for that studio. I'm here to present you the 1.2 update to the Conform Studio. And uh, 1.2 is a quite large update. Uh, in fact, we have uh, one important update for CS Conform and one very important uh, update for Trim and Extract. So let me start with CS Conform. Uh, let's say that you have conformed uh, your sequence and you already have your compositions, but then suddenly uh, you find out that you want to insert shots in this composition. So instead of doing it all over again, now you have an option to insert new shots into existing composition. So I have here one, two, three, and four, and five shots to be inserted. So I simply click on this insert new shots into existing composition option. And also I need to make sure that the proper template, uh, naming template is selected. So uh, let's uh, choose the proper template and uh, let's now click proceed. It's going to pre-compose and it's going to insert shots between the two uh, shots, uh, adding proper names and uh, filling the blanks. So as you can see, it's this is where this uh, uh, step value becomes important. If you need to later insert shots, then you have to uh, have uh, space to insert these shots. Okay, so this is the uh, CS conform, and now. For trim and extract, we uh, added a new option, uh, actually a new set of options. It's called advanced processing. And uh, if you want to enable it, it you first you have to enable it uh, in the basic options panel, and then you have the processing options uh, tab. What you can do here is you can move your comps to folder, you can move your footage to folder, and then you can run uh, scripts. There you can write, run project-wide scripts, and you can run scripts that target the composition that was extracted. So, for example, if I want to move my footage to uh, the render folder, I uh, click uh, on the folder and then click on this button. Or I can also uh, enter a path. For example, I want the compositions to be moved to comps main folder. I can do it without creating folders in this uh, project. Once I click off this uh, field, then uh, it will remember that uh, to create this structure. The project scripts uh, are the scripts which target the project. By default, it's going to open like this. So let me now add the scripts which I have here. This script will create a few folders uh, in, in the resulting uh, project and uh, this and this script is going to set up layers for keying for uh, uh, in each uh, project. So now I can also click Save as Defaults. So each time that I open the script, uh, these defaults uh, are going to be respected. And now all I have to do is I have to select the folder which uh, contains the compositions which I want to extract. And uh, right now I'm not going to do tr any trimming to show you only how the, pro the advanced processing uh, works. So now it's running the uh, scripts in the project, it's creating the folders and uh, in a moment I will open one of the projects and show you how it works. Okay, it's done, so now let me open one of the, of the projects and I close the CS extract. The composition was moved to main, uh, comps main folder, the footage was moved to the renders folder and this is the result, the 3D folder and resources and the 16 bits per channel is the result of the of this default folder script. And what happens in the composition, uh, every layer has been pre-composed and also has the uh, layer which has the reduced noise effect applied. That is a good starting point for our uh, King. Of course you can add more scripts, simply by pressing the plus button you will add another script and then if you want to remove the script, uh, select it and then click the minus button. So this is the 1.2 update for uh, Conform Studio. We fixed a few uh, minor bugs that were also present and uh, if you want to see what has changed, uh, take a look at the changelog in the user guide 
that is attached to the download package. I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope this will make Confort Studio even more relevant to your workflow. And of course, if you have any problems or uh, ideas how you want uh, the scripts to evolve, you can always email me or write on the uh, A scripts forum. Enjoy!